And so I want, to, I want you to move with me into the 70s. In the 70s are boys or teenagers, and, and if you remember back, at least I, I, at that point in my life, we didn't, still didn't have a lot of money. Uh, you know, the kids cost a lot. But we had moved into a, a, a couple of homes later and, and into a smaller church, or into a church that was kind of small at the time. And they struggled and bought a bus for the youth so they could take the youth on events. And we walked by that bus every Sunday and every Wednesday night for confirmation class. And it was hard to not notice that that bus needed some new tires, and particularly in the front, really bad. My boys were riding on that bus. So God touched my heart and he said, he said I should find out what it costs for at least one tire for that bus. And I wrote a check out, put it in the offering envelope, and that was one of our early gift club, love gifts. Well, as God does, He doesn't just leave it like that. A couple of weeks later, that bus had two new tires on the front. God doubled that love gift. You know, and Sharon and I continued as, in our walk to, to give other love gifts, and I'm sure many of you do in other Christian ministries. Make room for ministry is looking for us to join together to make love gifts. We will be asked in the coming weeks to put on a card what our, what our love gift would be. So you need to ask God what that ought to be. Prepare. You can think about doing that now. You can pray about that. So be ready.
It's a pleasure to be with you this evening. Pastor John Steve is not here at this service. This may call for some alterations in the sermon. Um, I could take full advantage of this opportunity. I now know I should have brought my New York Mets cap, which is sitting out in the car. He's a Yankees man. My dear friend, your faithful pastor, the Reverend Dr. John William Steve, is a servant of the word, without reproach, a man of integrity, an Eagle Scout, a fellow PK preacher's kid. How many other preacher's kids do we have here? I knew there were a few of us PKs lurking around. Good. And he's a fellow PK, a member of that wonderful service organization called Kiwanis. I'm in Rotary, so we tease each other about that too. But also a devout son, husband, father, and grandfather, a respected English district leader, a retired Lieutenant Colonel Army Chaplain and St. Martin of Tours Medal recipient and a pastor for 40 years since his ordination in the Holy Ministry, but alas, a New York Yankees fan. <laughs> Forgive him. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. This do in remembrance. In the same way also, he took the cup after supper, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of all your sins. This do as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Thank you. 